Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax. And in the previous videos, we started with let expression or let keyword or let operator. Firstly, we understood the meaning and important points for the let expression. Then in the last video, we started with the practical part. I took a requirement, but at that point of time, I have not used the let operator into this particular value expression. So firstly, we will understand the output in the debugging mode. Then I will simply use the let operator. I will put a breakpoint. Because there are so many people, those who directly started with new syntaxes. So we need to cover each and every point. Suppose I am giving the input. Suppose I will go for five. Suppose. So this do loop will continue five times. I will go to desktop three most preferable desktop. You can see do loop continue five times. Now I am doing F6. I am going inside the loop. So what is psi index one? Because currently the first record is going on. And I have put psi index plus 10. So now whenever I will do F6. So you can see column one, column one. If I will go for this particular work area. In this work area, column one will be one. And the column two will be one plus 10, 11. Now you are do loop. Now I am writing this. So it will write one and 11. Now do loop will continue for next. You can see side tabix is not changing in do loop side tabix has no significance. Psi index is two. Now, whenever I will do F6, now you can see in this work area, we have two and 12. So in do loop psi index is playing a vital role. Now we have third record is going on. So we have three psi index three and we are going for three and 13. Similarly, we have 4 and 14 and then we have 5 and 15 and we got the expected output and the psi index is change. Now in this particular full, I declared this particular variable. I did inline data declaration or explicit. That is a different thing. Now based upon SAP ABAP new syntax, but SAP is saying Whenever you are using a expression in that itself, you can declare the variables or field symbols, whatever is required. Suppose we are using this variable X into this particular value expression. So rather than going here, rather than declaring here, here itself, I will declare. So how I will declare? This is our value expression. Anyways, you can go by this way or this way. It is totally your wish. Suppose here I am writing let. Now, what the variable you want to declare? I will go for x. And what is the value? Let x is equal to 10. Previously, you declared here. Now, I am declaring inside the value expression itself. Now, whenever you are going for let, you need to use in here. It is very important. It is a part of syntax itself. You are using this variable x is equal to 10 value into this particular things, into this particular value expression. So this is the way how you can go for or how you can use let expression or let operator or let keyword. Just see, we are not declaring anything explicitly, explicitly or inline data declaration. That is a different thing. But we are not writing a separate line of code in the value expression itself. We are doing this. I'm going for syntax check. And now I'm going for activation. And you can see we have same to same output. Suppose if I'm going for the, running the program, if I will suppose give five, you can see same to same output. Now I will just go for other two important points. Anyways, when I started, I showed you. Now 
whatever the variable or field symbols you declared using let expression, this you are using into value expression. So you cannot declare outside. Its scope is there itself. Suppose if I want to write this, if I want to write this, because many times people will do. Suppose I want to write X because people think they assign the value 10 to this X so they can write this particular X. Now, if I will check the syntax, system is clearly giving the error. The variable X cannot be used here. So the scope you can only only use into this value expression. You can use only use into this expression. Outside this, you cannot use. Now, second thing. People think, okay, now the scope of this X in is up to this value expression only. So what they will do, they will try to declare X. Suppose they will declare X again and they want to go for suppose 20 value because they think the scope is there itself. So can we not declare this? Now, if I will check the syntax system will clearly say X is already declared. So this is the most, most important points from the interview perspective. The scope is in this value expression. So you cannot even redefine it. You cannot even write it. it means you cannot display the value outside this particular expression also. And third point we already covered. Yes, this particular let expression, I showed you the demo and we used into the value expression. So all these three points are covered. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I showed you the output in the debugging mode. After that, what I did, I commented this inline data declaration inside this value expression, how you can declare or field symbols using the let operator or let keyword. The keyword is let, I declare the variable x and equal to 10. You can see the definition is itself this, you can go for, you can declare and you can assign value. So we declared also and we assigned the value also. After that, you need to use the in keyword, you are using the value x into this particular columns, which are the part of your value expression. After that, we covered, yes, now you are using X into this value expression. So it does not mean that you can display X outside this value expression. No, system will clearly give you the error. Now people think the scope of this X is inside this value expression. So I can redefine it. No, you cannot even redefine it. System will give the error that it is already declared. Then I showed you that we used let expression into this particular value expression because the definition is itself let expression is used to define the variables, assign the values and used into another value expressions. So this is all about our let operator or let keyword. So that's it in this video. Thank you.